In our health alert tonight, if you're a bacon or hot dog lover mm. like myself, well, we've got mm. some bad news for you. After hundreds of studies were analyzed, Tufts University reports that eating processed meat may increase your risk of cancer. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here now to break down the link between cancer and processed meat. Dr. Nandy. So, Glenn, I think we get a lot of hate mail after this, but back in 2015, the World Health Organization classified processed meat as a carcinogen, and carcinogen just means that a substance is capable of causing cancer. Now, current research shows convincing evidence that eating processed meats often can increase the risk of colorectal cancer. And the findings of another study discovered that postmenopausal women who ate on average nine grams or more of processed meat a day, get this, faced a 21% higher risk of breast cancer. And to give you an idea of how little nine grams is, a typical serving size of packaged lunch meat is roughly 56 grams. So it's a big deal. You know, doctor, a lot of people nowadays are trying the keto diet and on the keto diet, they say, yeah, it's okay to have bacon. Why is processed meat mm. so bad for you? Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the keto diet. People don't look for healthy fats, but rather bad fats like the one I'm talking about. When you buy processed meats on like bacon, ham, sausage, and deli meats, it means the meat has undergone a process to preserve or flavor it. So it's called, so it's been salted, smoked, cured, fermented, or had nitrates added to it. Now, deli meats are notoriously known for high sodium levels, and six thin slices can roughly contain the amount of sodium, half the amount of sodium that a daily adult really needs, and too much sodium raises your risk of high blood pressure and heart disease. Now, when it comes to cancer and processed meat, the nitrates used to prevent bacterial growth, that's what they use it for in deli meats, but when processed or cooked, these nitrates can form into nitrosamines, and these are classified as carcinogens. Oh, Dr. Nandy, my baby girl loves her salami sandwich. <laughs> I mean, what if you love processed meat? How much is too much? That's a great question. So the bad news, Glenda, is that there is no one size fits all answer. But here are my prescriptions. Number one, only eat processed meats occasionally. I'd prefer you eliminate them altogether because even small amounts can raise your risk of colorectal cancer. Secondly, check the sodium content like I was talking about on all packaging labels. Try it. Please try to stick to 23 milligrams a day and avoid grilling or pan frying. See, the thing is cooking meat at high temperatures leads to more carcinogenic chemicals. And finally, I would recommend skip the no added nitrates options because often they use celery juice or other natural sources of nitrates uh, and they use that instead. And unfortunately, there's no science out there that shows that these are safer options. It's still possible they can form carcinogenic compounds. I just think that stick to stuff that you can make and you yeah. can see and get rid of this the stuff that's artificial. So. Yeah. Thank some, you, Dr. Some Nandy. Great advice for sure. Thank you so much. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.